uh, we have all everybody to remember that Poland in the history of this country and also in the recent history was a sending country, not a receiving country. And this is the biggest shift. This is very important from social point of view that in the older history of Poland, let's to remember that Chicago is still the second Polish speaking city uh, after our capital Warsaw. And also after the enlargement in 2004, Poland, Polish people emigrated to Great Britain or to Ireland. So this shift from being sending country to receiving country is the, let's say, our basic line. Uh, you can see from the number that in 2018, the discrepancy between the number of issued permission to work for Nepali workers and people who really came to Poland was more than 15,000. Nearly 30 years after the creation of the EU, the labor frontier is again showing signs of another outward shift, however, with a different character. Uh, an increasing number of migrant workers, as we've already heard, are coming further afield from countries with no apparent uh, geographic or colonial ties to EU destination countries. Um, mind you, though, the numbers are still limited if you look at absolute numbers, but there's clearly an evidence of increasing migration of workers from South Asia to the EU. Many of these migrants enter on temporary work permits uh, to the EU, numbers particularly increasing after 2017. And what this study uh, also found is that they're primarily entering the Union via former Central and Eastern European countries, uh, accession countries. They're located in the geographical peripheries of the EU, particularly to Poland, but also in the Czech Republic in the East, and also to Malta, to Portugal, to Spain, to Cyprus, and Italy in, in the South. Uh, where many migrants ended up with what I would call broken contracts. So these broken contracts are characterized by irregularities such as a lower wage than, than, than legally allowed or stated in the contract, a different job, uh, reduced or forgotten benefits. And migrants who found themselves holding these broken contracts tried to find a way to improve their working and living situations not necessarily by staying with the same employer or filing a complaint to the government authorities, but by continuously moving on. Mm -hmm.